Hello YouTubers, I'm Parwiz and this is our 22nd video in PySci 2 GUI development. So in the previous video we have learned that how we can create a print preview dialog in PySci 2. So this is from the uh, previous video that we have just created a simple uh, print preview dialog in PySci 2. Now if you want to, uh, this uh, you can just get the source code from my blog. I have added the link to the video description because in this video uh, we are going to use the previous video code. So now I've already created a new file. I call it print dialog. I have called it and I'm going to just copy the codes from my previous video and paste it in here. Now uh, if you run this you can see that this is just a, a simple window with some functionalities. We have file and we have uh, this print preview dialog in here. Now the main point is that in this video we are going to learn about the print dialog. So we have created print preview but now for example if we write something and we want to print this through for example our this application. For this we need a functionality of uh, print, a printing or a print dialog. Now uh, you can see that uh, the codes that I have copied I have just uh, some imports and especially these imports are for the print preview that we have imported from QPrint support, QPrinter and also QPrint preview dialog. And uh, this is our class window that extends from Q main window and we have our title and geometry and this is our text edit. And uh, these methods are basically for setting up our icon and this is for creating of our menu. We have a file view edit font help and these are our menu items for the file menu and uh, also this is uh, uh, for the print preview that we have already connected and these are the two uh, signal uh, uh, signal and slot mechanism that we have done for our exit action and also uh, preview action now you can watch the uh, video for this uh, if you want to get more information and more details about this code or if you want to just grab the code you can just watch the video description uh, I have added uh, this code in my uh, website. So now for the print preview we need to create a method so for this we just need to create a one method in here so I need to just create a diff print I call it print dialog like this okay the first thing we need we need to like we have created the object for the print preview if you remember from the previous video now in here also we need to just create a object of or an instance of our Q printer. So you can simply say Q printer and and here you need to add for example the mode or uh, the resolution. So and here I'm going to just add a high resolution. So you can simply say Q printer dot high resolution. Now after creating of printer object we need to create the object of QPrint dialog. So I'm going to just call it dialog and I'm going to say we need to import that we have Fint imported. So in here it's related to QPrint support class so we need to add a QPrint dialog. So now let me okay now in here let me just add a Q uh, print dialog and in here we need to pass the printer and also the parent itself okay now after this we are going to check that if uh, our dialog is successfully executed we need to just print the text from the queue text edit so if you see for example uh, oh also uh, before doing this I forgot to add our menu item like this okay so let me just leave it in here like this I don't want to add some more codes in this before this we need to just create our uh, print uh, action so like we have created the preview action we need to also create the print action so I'm going to just call it print action and Q action and Q sorry uh, Q icon we need to add an icon I've already copied an icon to my working directory so it is uh, print.png and uh, this is print 
and the parent is cells also I'm going to just add a shortcut for this so print action dot set shortcut and this should be control plus for example P like this okay now we have created this now we need to add this print action in our view menu menu bar in our view menu so if you run this let me just run this we want to add this in here along with the print preview so now let me just add this uh, where is it nah, yeah you can see in here now we are going to just add view menu dot add action and we are going to just add the print action in here if you run this you will see that we have a print action but there is no functionality for that because we haven't connected that so you can see we have a nice icon and this is the shortcut and right now we don't have anything for this okay now we are going to start our coding so now we have created the object of dialog now we are going to check that if this dialog was successful we are going to just print the text from the queue text edit so in here I'm going to just say if dialog dot execute so if the execution of my dialog was accepted so Q print dialog dot accepted so so if this was the case I'm going to just say self dot text edit so this was the text edit that we have already created at the top so we have created the text edit in here so we are going to just say that uh, self dot text edit dot print and we are going to just add the printer in here the printer object so okay now after this uh, we need to connect this we have created this method or also we can call it slot so we've created this method now we need to connect this with the menu item that we have already created so now and uh, you can see that we need to connect this in here because when a user click on the print in our for example in our application so let me just show you we want to add the functionality of our of printing so when a user click on the print so for this uh, there is a signal for the main items called triggered we have already uh, connected these two in here now like these we need to connect also our print so we can say print action dot triggered dot connect and we are going to just connect the print uh, dialog so make sure that you remove this because if you don't remove this you will receive error now let me just run it and hopefully it will work okay so you can write something like this and uh, you can just uh, click on the print you can see that we have the print so you can use whatever printer you have uh, you can add printer let me just uh, so you can add printer uh, if you have an installed printer you will receive in here so you can just uh, say the number of copies or like this uh, you can choose so if you choose a valid printer and you can choose number of copies and like this you can click on the print and it will be print so like this you can uh, use a uh, uh, create a print dialog in PySay 2 now I will add a source code to the video description if you have any question please let me know and uh, for the further videos please subscribe to my channel like the video and also